Hello everyone! Hello po sa inyong lahat! In today's video, I'm going to show you this men's shoulder bag. I'm using 100% cotton yarn and 3.5mm crochet hook. Chain 24 and single crochet second chain from the hook at the back of the chain. At the end of the row, you will have 24 single crochet chain. Chain 1 and single crochet each of the chain. Once you reach the end of the row 2, chain 1 and single crochet each of the chain and you need to make another two more rows of single crochet and you will have four rows of single crochet one two three and four chain one and single crochet each of the three chains on the side one two and three and don't forget to chain one every corner of the rectangle of the pattern and single crochet each of the following chains once we're back to the to our first corner remember it's our first corner this is our last stitch and put a stitch marker And we will do a single crochet on our chain one that we make. Insert your hook on our, on our chain one. And do a single crochet. And we will insert again our hook on our chain one. Grab the yarn, insert your hook on the next chain, grab the yarn, and you have three loop, and pull all three loop. And again, we will insert our hook on the previous chain, insert your hook on the second, on the next chain, and pull all three loop. Insert your hook on the previous chain, insert your hook on the next chain, and pull all three loop. Insert your hook on the previous chain, grab the yarn, insert your hook on the next chain, grab the yarn, and you have three loop and pull all three loop. This stitch is called paired single crochet. Again, insert your hook on the previous chain, grab the yarn, insert your hook on the next chain, grab the yarn, and pull all three loop. And repeat this run. Once we're back to our last chain, remove your stitch marker and insert your hook on the previous chain, insert your hook on the next chain, and pull three loop. And put this stitch marker on our on our last paired single crochet and repeat this round repeat the repeat paired single crochet and you should have 57 chains around And again, we're back on our last paired single crochet. And if you don't want to miss of your countings, um, you should ha you should have a stitch marker to put on your last stitch. 
and this round you will you should have 57 chains around and don't forget to flip your work once you have the, this curve on your on your pattern and I made a 29 rows of paired single crochet once you reach that uh, put a stitch marker on the second chain of the curve you will see you will have curve on your circle on the round and put a stitch marker and start your first single crochet on it chain one and single crochet on the first chain we will do that until we reach the end of the row and don't forget to chain one every end of our rows and we're back to the end of our row remove the stitch marker and chain one and single crochet on the first chain and single crochet each of the chain around until we reach to the end of our row once you reach the end or the height of your of the closing of your pouch bag um, cut the yarn and secure the ends of your yarn and again um, it's up to you if you want more rounds of single crochet if you want it long longer on your pouch bag it depends on you and we will sew we will hide the tail of our yarn grab your darning needle and hide it to the stitches Once you're done with the pattern of your bag, you can use a dual lock strips. You can buy it online or on your on the store, and you can glue it on your bag so that it's more convenient. Like this. For the straps, I use two strands of yarn with the dark yarn and I slip knot and chain 170 and I use 4.5 millimeter crochet hook Once you made 170 chains, pull pull the yarn for like 10 cm and insert your hook on the second chain from the hook. Grab the yarn inside. And slip stitch. Insert your hook on the next chain and slip stitch. Insert your hook and slip stitch and so you on the next chain and slip stitch the yarn and do that until we reach to the first chain once you reach to the end of our row of chain one Cut the yarn and secure the ends 
and cut also the other side of the strap count uh, 4 rows of of the pattern count 4 rows and insert your strap on the under the 4 rows of the pattern of the bag and that's it after that uh, we are done